Hello, welcome to Xfinity. In this video, I will show you how to collect project source files and share project files in Adobe After Effects 2022. I will also share important tips to reduce the size of projects in After Effects using Reduce Project, Collect Files and Share Projects in Small Size with all images, videos, assets and compositions easily. So basically it is extremely helpful for sharing project files with source footage in After Effects. So let's see how to do this. All right fellas in this video I'm going to discuss very important things related to the Adobe After Effects project sharing settings. For example if you are working on a specific project and you want to share your project with the source files or with the images and videos and assets that you have used in your videos then I'm going to show you very important tips and tricks you can use to share your projects very easily and i will also show you how you can remove the unnecessary or not used project files uh, in after effects while you are sharing and uh, how you can export the complete project files with the pictures videos and assets all right fellas so without any further delay uh, let us dive straight into the after effects and let me show you how we can share the projects easily all right fellas as you can see i am right inside my adobe after effects 2020 or you can use any version of after effects you want the procedure is same but you need to follow the steps or i can say the expert tips and tricks to share the uh, project files easily all right fellas so i am going to select the multi screen pack as a demonstration purpose as you can see i have opened the project files and first of all before starting the main procedure, I want to show you how many images are located in the in this project folder. As you can see, there are many images and many other assets are placed here. But if you see at my timeline, it has only one, two, three, four, or some placeholders. It has only four pictures. So you can see this is the wastage of resources and the images. If you want to share this project file, you need to share the photos and the videos along with them too and they need to import it. It will be very messy for them to manage all these. So I am going to show you very easy method to share all this in one click. First of all, uh, let me show you this is my composition. I will be back and if I go to this composition, this is right here. And if you are not sure this composition open in a timeline, you don't know where is the location of this composition, you can simply right click on this and select the reveal composition in project. It will directly highlight this I will back. So let me highlight something else. And if I click on right click on this option, this composition and uh, click reveal composition in project it will highlight the composition that you have opened in your timeline. So once you have the composition in your project you simply need to go to file and then you need to navigate to the dependencies and there are some options here that you can use that are very handy in case you need anything first of all i will click on reduce projects and let me show you what it does as you can see if if i click on reduce projects it will remove all the unnecessary things that i did not use in my timeline as you can see 345 items were not used in my uh, sequence so that's why it removed all the images and assets that were that was not used in my timeline so it is very handy if you are going to share this project it will not uh, include any extra images or files along with it it will also reduce the size of the project files that you are sharing but also increase the understandability of the if you are going to work in the connected environment if you see I have uh, two music files here I have some compositions here and I have uh, used some pictures here so you can only see these items in my uh, project file so that is very very handy tool to reduce the size of the projects and uh, to share it with the assets so now if you go to file 
and if you go to dependencies and you click on collect files it will collect all the files in your project and it will make a folder so let us click on this uh, we will click on save and it will ask for some options you don't need to change anything here just select all in collect source files and uh, leave everything as it is make sure it is selected and uh, that's it if you want to add comments you can add comments here but uh, that's it you need to simply click on collect once you uh, click on collect it will ask you for the directory uh, where you want to save the project file i will simply click on uh, keep it on the desktop and i will uh, make sure the name is multi screen pack folder and I, I will click on save so now it will collect all the dependencies and it has done its job in a very quick manner and if we go to the desktop you can see this is the multi screen pack folder if I open this you can see it has a report it has a project file it has the footage so the footage will include all the images and assets you have used so now in, in order to share this folder if you right click on this in order to share this folder you just need to click on right click on this you will see all these options and uh, you need to simply uh, select add to multi screen pack folder dot raw it is very important to note that in order to share the files you need to convert or compress it before sharing so that's very important so in order to do this you need win raw and you can select the you can simply click on this option it will compress all the files and make a new folder and let me show you by comparing its sizes so if i go to properties here uh, the size of this file is 97.5 megabytes and uh, if i right click on this and uh, let us explore what is the size of this compressed file it is 80.2 so that's very handy if you are going to share the project files with your in your connected environment with the cross team so that's it guys so that was the way you can use to share the project files with the uh, source files or with the uh, images and assets and videos very easily so i hope that video was very helpful and if you find this helpful make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon and uh, in my next video i will also show you how you can share the project project with the source files uh, in the uh, adobe premiere pro so stay tuned and if you have any questions you can comment down below i will try my best to respond as soon as possible thanks again for watching this video have a nice day